People who are pro-gun. Why? A crackhead broke into my apartment at 2 a.m. He was hitting my door while I called 911. He broke my front door and started screaming about wanting money. He only left because my previously old and very chill dog started charging him and scared him off. The cops took three hours to respond and basically just asked if he stole anything. Shrugged a lot and told me to ask my apartment complex about the busted door. They left and it was never addressed again. Even when the door was replaced. I never felt safe there ever again. I stayed up past two every night. Checked windows and doors every hour. And always stayed at a friend's when my roommates weren't there. My home was no longer a safe place for me in my mind since I had first-hand proof that a 14-year-old dog was potentially the only reason I survived. My old dog isn't around anymore to protect me so it's up to me to do that since I just got proof that the cops aren't going to do anything. Protection. Simple as that. Used my Mossberg to chase out two home invaders who tied my sister and taped her mouth shut while I was asleep a few years back. Attempted to send one of them to the Holy Father. They are now doing 20 years in the pokey. Grew up in farm country in rural PA. Guns were just another tool. And not even close to the most dangerous tool on the farm. There are some things that a gun is the most efficient tool for. Hunting. Putting down animals. And yes. Self-protection. On the farm when danger is seconds away the local constabulary may make it out sometime tomorrow. Morning. We didn't have a lot of money when I was young. And harvesting our own meat was often the only way we had to eat. Was taught from a young age to respect and properly use all tools. Including firearms that being said. What works on the farm doesn't always translate well to downtown Miami. But I'm still a huge believer in individual accountability. Bullets are faster than police. My neighbor, 1985, was pro-gun because he watched his family get loaded into boxcars and sent to Auschwitz. He was sent to a work camp and was the only one in his family to survive. Because I had a crazy man threaten to kill my family repeatedly. Not taking chances. Survivor of domestic violence. I believe in protection. They are a useful tool for my work. I'm a female that lives alone. The world is crazy. And it is never a bad idea to have more protection from any possible threats. My parents had a break-in and my mom was home. She had a bedside gun. She pulled it out and confronted the guy. He fled immediately. Had she not had a gun. Chances are much higher that she would have gotten messed up or I wouldn't have a mom anymore. Also, it is fun to go out on some property or a range and fire some rounds off. In black. When I was younger living with my parents in a sketchy neighborhood. My house got broken into and the only reason the intruder left was because my dad pulled out the gun he had under the bed. It's for protection. Guns are the great equalizer. They immediately give a 5 feet 2 inches 130 pounds woman the ability to defend herself from a 6 feet 3 inches 250 pounds man. Used responsibly. They are a great way to protect yourself and your loved ones. A lot of people counter the protection argument by saying that's what the police are for. Now. Putting aside response times of police when seconds can be the difference between you continuing to have your current quality of life or being severely, God forbid permanently, injured. Many American courts have held that police don't have a duty to protect you. Rather their duty lies with protecting society at large. That's not to say they wouldn't protect you if they could. But I'd rather be responsible for my own safety.
Adding on that in times of riots and wide-scale unrest police have been told to stand down and 911 calls have gone without police response. Or during natural disasters they're sometimes unable to respond. That's not a chance I want to take. That's one of my reasons. And one of the more popular reasons out there. But there's certainly more. My people were bombed and machine gunned in the mine wars. I'm very pro Second Amendment. My family also has a farm that's far from town. Goes without saying. I enjoy eating venison. Coyotes enjoy eating my chickens. Target shooting is fun. I am a small woman who cannot take on a full grown man. But my point 380 can. I have had my life threatened in the past and been made to feel weak and defenseless. I now know how to safely operate a firearm and am comfortable doing so. And I no longer feel weak or defenseless. And because I can lol. My family hunts. Guns help feed us. The deer limit gives us meat all winter. As a dwarf. I have zero chance of defending myself from any intruder without a gun. And as I mentioned in another comment. The sad truth is depending on where you live. And who you are. Police can be worse for you than the intruder. I like guns. I'm from Mexico they are heavily regulated here and that hasn't stopped cartels or anyone will NG to buy one in the black market to keep shooting each other up on the street for god knows how long. I think people that are law avoiding citizens with no criminal record should be able to get a gun to protect themselves and their homes. That being said even tough there's a lot of guns on the street in my country no one goes around. Shooting up schools or crowds just for the heck of it that seems to be mostly a USA thing. People do shoot each other frequently here but it's about a drug deal gone wrong or some vendetta. Crime of passion and that kind of shit.